the poetry of AIDS also connected me to great reserves of strength through anger in the protest poems. And I'd say that this next poet, Paul Monet, is very well known for the rage that he aimed at social institutions, including the media, the churches, the government, that he believed were killing him and killing his friends and killing his lovers. Uh, his collection, Love Alone, from 1988, was 18 elegies dedicated to his lover, Roger Horowitz, uh, who died from AIDS. Um, he died from AIDS complications, uh, one of which uh, was blindness. Uh, many PWAs were, people with AIDS were attacked by things like cytolomegalovirus that went at the eyes and that caused blindness. Uh, this next poem by Paul Monette, again, dedicated to his lover, addressed to his lover, Roger Horowitz. It's called your sight must stay is. It starts with a quote from Dylan Thomas. Blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. I remember clearly deciding not to see any more myself. This out of sheer protest. Or only see what I could tell you the whole of. Art was out. So was anything new. The buff hillside gone to grass was just our speed. But of course, I was always minimizing, as if to say, there's nothing to see today. It's the same old thing, Raj. Sycamore's bare, park full of Surats. But hey, feel that breeze. And knowing how clear Aegean blue your eyes were. Please, I know what I watched go out. But even when it struck us down, blacked our windows like an air raid, even then, your glimmering half-sight was so seductive. What do you see, I'd ask you, coaxing every street sign like they were glyphs off a ruined temple. Night would fall. You'd frown, are the lights on, Paul? And tear my heart with all the Betty Davis lines out to get us. But oh, my dearest, every one was on. Spots, flashes, searches, long white tubes like the swords in Star Wars, candle power fit for a Byzantine saint, and still so dim the dark, so jealous of life. And then, out of nowhere, a neon day of L.A. sun, we're out strolling. You stop, peer, impish, intent as a hawk, and say, I see you, just like that. And then I toss my blinders and drink the world like water till the next dark up and down for half a year. The left one gone in April overnight, two millimeters on the right side saved. And we fought for those, that knife of light and beaten ground, raging for day like the Warsaw Ghetto. All summer long, I dripped your veins at four and midnight, watching every drop as if it were sight itself. So did we win? Did we lose? You died with the barest shadows, oh, I know. But even then, we hoped a cataract laser might give us a glint, would not see night as the way of the world. And what have I seen since your blindness, my love? Just that my love requires no eyes. So why am I tapping this thin white cane of outrage through crowds of sighted fools, the pointless trees and the awful dusk? unlifting some few colors, bright as razor blades, trying to make me look. I'm shut tight, Oedipus hold, leave me alone. I have somehow gotten it all wrong. Because when you were the blackest blind, you laughed, laughed, groped your way and stared the noon sun down. How are you, jerks would ask. Read Job, you'd say a gleam in every good hour, pulling out puns and Betty jokes and fighting to read the charts. Knowing the worst had fallen, you'd hoot on the phone and wrestle the dogs. The summer was still the summerage. See how you saw us through? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.